seems like yesterday that 4K was the most expensive new technology available on the market, but TV manufacturers aren't slowing down quite yet. Already, the next big thing for televisions, known as 8K, is making its way to store shelves. Is 8K really a suitable choice for gaming? Let's find out. Display resolution has taken a significant leap forward with the introduction of HK, which is comparable to the advent of 4K a few years ago. The resolution of an 8K display is 7680 by 4320. This is four times greater than the total number of pixels offered by a typical 4K monitor. Additionally, this amounts to 16 times the number of pixels that are provided by a standard 1080p display. An 8K image is far sharper than a 4K or even a 1080p image, which indicates that an 8K display offers unrivaled visual quality nonetheless. The question of whether or not it's worthwhile still stands. However, the visual experience is absolutely mind-blowing. Adopting the resolution by the average consumer is going to take some time, as we've seen in the past with the previous format. For instance, HD TVs went on sale in 1998 but it was another 10 years before the HD format became the new standard for the distribution of motion pictures. This eventually made gaming available on Blu-ray discs for full HD gaming. From there, even the most basic online games started being launched with full HD resolutions. Although 4K is currently the standard video resolution ever since 2012, many gamers are still continuing to use 1080p resolution. When 4K technology was released, it was a while before content actually caught up and was distributed in 4K. That made investing in a 4K television or monitor then a little bit dubious. It's the same thing with 8K. Right now, there's just not going to be a lot of content released in 8K. Despite this, we've seen some console manufacturers tout their 8K gaming. The question is really, is this just all smoke and mirrors? Well, The Tourist, developed by Shinen Multimedia, released just a couple months ago, and this is the first ever native 8K video game. And according to the official description, it should be playable in its native resolution on the PlayStation 5. However, a minor issue with the PlayStation 5 is that it does not support 8K output through HDMI. This is the case despite the fact that there is a prominent 8K logo printed on the console itself. The reason for this is that the game renders its content in 8K, but the software that comes with the PS5 reduces the resolution to 4K. However, according to Sony, the PS5 system will, in the future, receive a software update that will eventually enable the device to give complete support for 8K resolution. When it comes to streaming, most streaming services support 4K. However, 8K content is not as easy to come by. A connection speed of at least 50 megabits per second is necessary for streaming 8K video. It goes without saying that not a lot of people are gonna have access to an internet connection that can actually go that fast. But on the other hand, non-8K content that is presented on an 8K TV will actually be upscaled, so it'll still appear to be better. However, there's a noticeable difference between upscaled 4K and native 8K content. Now, in terms of video gaming, it would be quite the challenge for modern technology to run modern AAA games in 8K at playable frame rates. This is because of the resolution of the games themselves. It's not that it's impossible, but a setup that would be capable of running more recent AAA titles in 8K at a consistent frame rate would be way too expensive for the typical gamer to purchase. Even in 4K, the most Recent AAA games are challenging for some of the most high-end GPUs available, such as the RTX 2080, the RTX 3080, and even the 3090. Therefore, it goes without saying that there's going to be quite some time before 8K gaming on PC becomes more widely available. Now, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X are capable of providing 4K at 60 frames per second and will include AMD's RDNA 2-based GPUs. These will end up being super capable 4K gaming consoles. However, neither is really going to be that optimized for 8K. To be fair, there's always a possibility that we might see another mid-generation refresh as we did with the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One X, which might enable them to run 8K, but still, there's really just not a lot of value in speculating at the moment. 
The bottom line is that if you're going to try to run things at 8K, you are going to have to spend a lot of money on hardware. There's simply no way around that at the current moment. Speaking of price, the cheapest 8K television is gonna cost you approximately $2,500 right now, and that's on the smaller end of the spectrum. They're gonna get way more expensive the bigger you get. So judging by the price, 8K televisions really just are poor value because they're so expensive and there's so much better ways to spend your money when it comes to gaming or television. There's pretty much no use in investing in an 8K panel right now. There's just not enough content at that resolution to really get the value for it. In 2022, if you're looking to purchase a television, a nice 4K TV is gonna be a much better purchase than an 8K television. There's just not enough reason to buy the 8K right now especially when it comes to gaming, you really don't need to go for 8K. It's going to be a long time before games can even output at 8K at decent frame rates. And depending on what type of games you play, you're probably still better off at a 1080p or maybe a 1440 monitor. So there you have it. Is 8K good for gaming? Uh, the answer is right now, no. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.